that the glue on the pins has had day to dry, um, I put a package of mothballs in this box and set a piece of glass on top to um, fumigate. It's always possible little insects can get in there and uh, dermestid beetles are the worst. Uh, also these little bugs called sosids, so, uh, sosids, which are really tiny and they can get into the tiniest little crack and they'll just eat up everything, just destroy the collection. Um, so I, I put some mothballs in there just to get the fumes inside. Little mothball packet. And so I'm ready to put the uh, glass on top and that will trap some of those fumes in there. It's always a good idea uh, to fumigate something before you before you seal it up. So I'm going to lift this glass on and put the um, replacement glass cover on uh, quickly and then we can start to seal that up. Yeah. And I've got everything in there as clean as I can possibly make it. Okay, now I've got these um, strips of aluminum tape, which I'm going to use to seal uh, the edges with. And uh, we'll see how that goes. The adhesive on this aluminum tape is really strong. I use it for uh, all kinds of things, for making repairs. Okay. I'm going to lay this right on the edge. Fold it down. Yeah. side. And I can easily trim this um, tape with a razor blade if I need to. Okay. <coughs> this side. And one more.
Oops. All right. Now the last thing to do is um, replace the uh, lead strips. So that it looks like it did. And I'm gonna glue this lead on. And I think I'm going to use the shoe goo because it's a really um, strong, fast-drying glue. I think I'll have to tape this lead on to hold it in place for you know the little bit it'll take for it to dry. So I'll get ready to do that. All right. So here's my glue. This is my lead strip. I'm going to use a wood applicator here with a point and just try to smear a nice even layer of this into the lead strip. I don't want a whole lot of it gooping out over the edges if I can help it, although I'm sure I can clean that up if I need to. Good layer smeared on there now. Not sure how well this will stick, but we'll find out. That looks pretty good. I think I'm going to let this one dry a little and see uh, see how well it worked before I do all of it. But I think this is going to work. Yeah, I'm going to let this sit for a few minutes and see. This one's not grabbing like it should. Yeah. Okay. I'll let that sit for a few minutes. And see, uh, see how it does. 
so I switched to um, this white tape instead of the blue. This seems to hold better. Now, uh, what I've done is the glue is grabbing it really well, uh, but the edges of this lead are a little bit wrinkled from all of the handling. So I'm taking these flat pliers again with a nice smooth flat edge, and I've gone along the edge and just smoothed out the wrinkles. The lead is fairly soft, so this seems to work just good. There's some like little raised ridges here, and this uh, smooths them out and presses it into the glue so that it makes a smoother, um, a smoother surface. See, there's like a wrinkle right there. Yeah, by the time I drag this over, it flattens it right out. That's it. We'll just let that glue dry for a little while. Now, to finish this up, I'm going to use some uh, solder to close the lead se a seam here. First, I heat up the uh, surface. And it doesn't have to be perfectly flat because I will uh, sand it smooth once the uh, once the lead has been melted across the gap. Yeah. kind of tricky to get it to stick, but uh, yeah. But once I sand it down, it should be nice and smooth. Yeah. So to um, sand down and smooth out the solder, take a piece of sandpaper and um, wrap it around flat stick so I've got a nice smooth flat surface and then um, just sand it down Yeah. It 
so this glue is dry now so I'm going to pull the tape off let's see oh yeah that's holding it really good I just need to trim up. There's a little bit of tape, aluminum tape, sticking out. I'll just get a razor blade and trim that up. Get any tape residue off and uh, polish up the lead. Yeah, there's a little bit of glue sticking out under there. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, there's a little bit of aluminum tape sticking out. Oh, I should be able to just run a razor blade along the edge. And uh, take that right out. Yep, there it is. Yeah, there's a little bit there too. Yeah. quite a bit here. Yeah, and there's some tape residue and glue along here. I'll have to take the razor blade and clean all that up. But looks pretty good. Reflection off of it. Yeah, looks um, looks great actually. It's uh, nearly good as new. I've got all the glue cut off and the tape excess. So now I'm just going over it with a little piece of steel wool to kind of smooth out, especially these edges where I freshly soldered it was uh, a little lighter colored. This kind of shines it up and makes it look bright and silvery, but it will, it's lead, so it will oxidize a little bit and have a patina. But this way it'll all blend in. Oh yeah. Okay, I'm going to finish polishing all that up and then I'll clean the glass. Oh yeah, some lead dust on there. Okay, that's finished. 
pretty good. Looks new. There's a label here, right here. It's like uh, they painted uh, clear sort of acrylic on it or something and then wrote with a pen. It says Ornithoptera brookiana albicens, Raja Brooks Birdwing, Malaysia, male and female. So I was able to leave that. Another reason if I replaced this broken glass I would have had to take that off. But um, that's it. Oh, good as new.